Hey y'all, it's me, Vegan Granny, and um, I wanted to touch on two things. One, someone left a comment about on my um, video where I talked about Prophet Karn. I, I wish I would have wrote the comment down so I could have said it word for word, but basically asking why should we forgive him? Now, I can see a non-believer asking why we should forgive someone. But a Christian should never ask that question. We believe, we forgive because that is what God wanted us to do. Now, what this prophet did should not have damaged anyone mentally or physically. He said something, it didn't come to pass. He said he was wrong, that should have been it. But that is the problem with us today. We harbor on stuff that does not even affect us. We miss the boat. Because we too busy harboring on stuff that's stupid. He made a mistake. He came out and said he made a mistake. That should be the end of that. But no, y'all going to keep on throwing stones and rocks and, and everything. And if Jesus was here, he would stop that by saying, the first person who is without sin, you go ahead and throw a stone. So all y'all will have to just drop your rocks. Because we all sin every day. There is no sin greater than any other. All sin is unrighteousness. Okay? So, like I said in my video, leave that, leave that boy alone. We got way bigger fish to fry than what Prophet Karn said about Donald Trump. Okay? Let that go. I ain't gonna talk about that no more. Unless he do something else crazy, then I'll come back. Because to me, it's funny. I, I don't take none of that. I don't take that stuff serious. It's, it's just something for me to come on here and talk about. Because I'm the type of person, I don't harbor stuff. Okay? I'm not holding on to stuff that people done said or stuff that people have done to me, my release game is strong. I will release you in a heartbeat to the universe or to God who I know can punish you. I'm not about to sit around and hold on to hate and unforgiveness and guilt and all of that stuff that can make me sick internally. I'm trying to live for my grandkids. I want to see them graduate from high school and get married and have kids. I want to be around here happy. You can't do that if you holding on to a whole bunch of old unprocessed mess. Let that stuff go. That young man, if he's doing something that you feel like is against the word of God, allow God to punish him. That's what judgment is for. We, we can't punish nobody. We ain't got no heaven or no hell to send nobody to. So let God punish him. Let's get that shot. And the next thing I wanted to talk about is Christians. Why, why, why y'all scared about Donald Trump? Why, why, why y'all fearful? What you scared of? He ain't the first president, Republican president that has gotten into office and you thinking he about to shake stuff up. But you cannot have fear and faith. If you have faith in God that God is able to do all things, then have faith. But fear and faith don't go together. They not best friends. Fear over there. Faith over there. Pick one. You can't straddle the fence on this. 
Like God said, he, he will vomit up a person that is lukewarm. Either you're hot or you're cold. And if you're cold, you're scared. If you're hot, you know that God is in control. I believe that God does certain things to shake us up. To bring us closer to him. Okay? This is what he wants. He wants you to get a little uneasy so you can draw closer to him. So you can tell him, God, you know, I know that things are going looking bad right now, but I need you to step in. That's what he wants. He don't want us to sit around here. Ooh, I don't know what's going to happen. Ooh, Trump is going to do. Oh, he's going to take my social security. He's going to take uh, all my health care. Oh, I ain't going to be able to pay my bills. Girl, bye. Who lives like that as a Christian? Oh, my God. I'm, I'm just. I'm so done with all of this. I'm, I'm just done with this election. I'm done with Trump, all of this. And, and I'm going to speak on this last thing, and I'm going to go because I'm at six minutes. So the little hashtag, not my president. I'm with that. Because I have absolutely no respect for Donald Trump. For one, he has not earned my respect. He is a sh extremely disrespectful racist. And he's not my president. Okay. So the hashtag is fine for me. As far as people protesting, people have protested for years. People have a lot of pent up frustration and anger. And it has to come out some type of way. I value people that go out and protest peacefully. When you're out there tearing up your cities and setting fires and beating up people, no, I, I, I do not agree with that. But a peaceful protest saying what you don't agree with is a good thing because people are being allowed to get some of that what is holding them in, pinning them up and making them so angry and frustrated, you're allowed to release some of that. And that's what we need to do. We have to release that anger and frustration because if we don't, it's going to kill us. It's going to kill us as a nation. It's going to kill us as a race. And it's going to kill us individually as a person. Because anger and frustration is what breeds disease in our bodies. So we can't hold on to what's going on in the world because we cannot change it. We can't change what happened. We can protest, but your protesting is not going to change what happens. And as a Christian, we know that everything that happens is designed by God. There are supernatural forces in place that are working. So just believe that God has all this under control and you give it to him and you move on. Learn how to pray. If you can't say nothing but God, I'm oh God, I'm feeling bad today. Can you please lift some of this burden off of me? Do you know that God would dispatch an angel right then to help you? But you have to be the one to call on him. This is what we should be doing now. If you're a Christian, you ought to be praying. Okay? The Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Pray against these principalities that are busy right now. The devil is busy. Okay? And he's busy because the saints are too caught up in social media and this and that 
in this. They too scattered to even pray. God said, if my people that are called by my name will humble the, themselves and pray and seek my face, he would heal the land. But it's not enough people out here praying and seeking God's face seriously for this to work. And God is just sitting on his throne waiting for us to get serious and make some changes. Y'all mark my word. God is in control. He got this. Y'all go on and watch the view and your little TV shows today and pray and let God work this out because that's what I'm doing. Granny is working on some blankets. I got my other craft projects. I'm not going to let none of this worry me. I have family. I have a husband that loves me. Come here, Gizmo. Come here, Poodle. Come here. This is my baby. Y'all see my baby? This is my baby. I'm going to take care of the people that I love. I'm praying for y'all. And I hope that y'all are doing the same thing for me. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.